hey man. And, <laughs> and you, why are you sounding so like so diplomatic? Uh, uh, they knew you were problematic. <laughs> yeah, hey. A few minutes ago, you are making noise. Hey. Yeah, problem. Yeah, and you ca- on on cam on camera off camera off off camera. <laughs> this, this, you have to change. <laughs> so we have the myth in studio, yes, sir. aka Mr. Tom Mayanja, yes, sir. who's ah, of yeah, this yeah. amazing group called. <laughs> It's oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's Trust me, it's so, so, so even high. It's like when you when I Google you, it's like oh, ah, just oh, there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nationality Ugandan. Oh, okay. yeah. You've just celebrated your birthday, eighth of September. You're yes. a you're I a Vago. Only. Yeah, horrible, horrible which means the only one. Which means it's trouble. Yes. Vagos, they g- but but Vagos give a lot of themselves to people. Yeah. That oh, you? that is for sure. Is that why? <laughs> oh my God, I'm sure that didn't mean that he helped people. It's in other ways and me than ways. <laughs> this guy is my guy, but I don't know why. Why is he throwing you the bus? Like, no, he's to, no. To be honest, to be honest, ah. he has he has inspired and helped, uh, including myself. He yeah. has inspired and helped yeah. well over fifteen MCs mm. to get prominence mm-hmm. in Uganda and mm-hmm. around East Africa yeah. that I know. Yeah. So like, it's, and we it's, know it's him fights. from Clear Cut, yes, sir. which I mean, we have to give you respect for. But you're in an album in the album, and you're in the song Cold. You're featuring the song Cold. Are you gonna yes, play uh, it? Do you dare? <laughs> do, do, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Ooh. so. <laughs> no, it's, it's dope. It's dope. It's dope. But um. Is there any other song I, before we talk about Cold? Yes. Is there another song in the album which you feel like this guy played you should have been that other song instead Mad. of Cold? Which song? <laughs> wow. Mad. Which song? It's called Mad. Mad. Uh, just Mad. Oh, the one which didn't feature anyone. He didn't feature anyone. He <laughs> wanted to shine that alone. Was, and here's the funny thing. Royalties. Yeah. He said, "Ah oh, man." You know, this would have been a perfect song for you. I'm like, but, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're such good okay. friends. While it's out. You left me You left me out of the song that will make yeah. all the money. Yeah. Wow, what <laughs> friendship. He's like, like, ah, I appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, you're such, appreciate all you. these years of <laughs> inspiring 15 he, MCs. He heard, he heard the song Unfinished. Yeah, I mean, he said, nah, yeah, no, yeah, it's no, alright. <laughs> and then we mixed it. Then he's like, yo. Yo, why did you leave me? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's possible, me. You know that's possible. But you know yeah. what, it, what, what do they call it? Demoitis. When you here in demo form yeah, yeah, yeah true true and you're and like when, i don't like it going, yeah exactly. I, I think it's the ladies when the ladies started liking this song <laughs> yeah he's more he's like a lion he realized, he's always ah, been like a lion the antelopes are leaving me they are here the antelopes are going <laughs> left why are you running i'm trying to rebrand yes. <laughs> yeah, <I> rebrand. <laughs> when, when you when you look at today we're gonna focus on this guy when we look at his career yes. and what he's been able to achieve yes. or not achieve yeah. what are some of the things the moments you look at and you're like maybe this guy should have given himself more credit for this let's put let's put all the attention on this guy so okay. let's make him uncomfortable okay so so strength in numbers yeah. i think i think um he he he's not happy with that project because like he said it, it was in lockdown yeah uh but i think that was such a pivotal moment mm-hmm. because he had calligraph on it mm-hmm. Vanessa Day, mm-hmm. ice prince yeah he had so many collaborations uh king saha from uganda he had he had Incredible collaborations. The Burner Boy remix. The Burner Boy remix. Mm. That, that just that just broke like the, you know like a lot of people. I same thing. I released my last album in the pandemic. Yeah. In September. Yeah. This was April. Yeah. And we could we couldn't do stuff. Even I think I think the South Soul Midnight Train was. Yeah, in exactly. The yeah, they were meant to, they were meant to tour the states, yeah. and then that was that, that couldn't was happen. But then, yeah. But then w- w- what happened was a lot of people sat down and listened to, mm-hmm. to Midnight Train, mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. were like. Sure. It's amazing. You know, yeah. so the same thing happened with that with that project. I was like, well, it's great because here you are talking about family, here you are talking about marriage, here you are talking all this stuff that would have been drowned out if you were in the club. Yeah. yeah. So so now yeah. that growth is happening mm. because people are t- everyone is at home. Yeah. The album is out. Yeah. Everyone is listening to it and they're like, yo, here's Shay Shay from Ni- Nigeria, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shila Wire from Uganda. Mm. And everyone is just excited to hear the growth. So exactly. I think I think yeah, he's like, man, because like Saudi Soul, we did yeah. have tour plans. Yeah, he's at the start, mine at the end. Yeah, I love right? that. I <laughs> love then, that. But then, we we both came out of of the pandemic with great projects that mm-hmm. people have are holding so high. Yeah, that yeah. everyone is like, yeah, but I don't think you can beat strength in numbers. And you're mm-hmm. like, wait, is that? Is that a top three now? Yeah, album? You yeah, know, like, yeah. People are like you don't at realize the effect exactly. that you have because music is because you're you're stuck in the pandemic. Well, yeah. people are stuck in your with your music. With your music. Yes. So you're more <laughs> focused about the pandemic. Well, they they're yeah. like, but we've been enjoying the music. Absolutely. I feel like this guy balances Absolutely. you out. The yeah. certain level of respect and silence I had from this side, <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> 
I, Could you please bring back <laughs> Navio? I'm Where here. He? I'm here. You uh, see, sometimes when I when I listen to two crazy people, yeah. what we can't get in between but, two crazy but people this crazy rambling. Spoke, I, I was like, ah, yeah. this man <laughs> you're is like, truth. perhaps it's truth. Perhaps it's truth. This man is truth. Do, uh, don't let him don't fool let, you. No, he will not fool me. His music is the does, truth. Does he know who I am? The man. Yeah. He's working on. I'm unfoolable. <laughs> I'm unfoolable. <laughs> I'm unfoolable. And we <laughs> also have yeah, foolishness does not lie here. Okay, you see now, you guys, you should not come back to the studio. <laughs> Just a new copy here. Don't do this again. Um, d- it sounds like the Breakfast Club in Kenya. So we've got Flex, who isn't speaking. Flex, there are no women in the studio for you to be quiet <laughs> no, no, and, no. and for them to think that, that that he must be the most interesting person. He's live on Instagram. <laughs> he's, he's, talk- on Instagram. He's, not, he's not talking. Yes. How are you, Flex? I'm all good. You're good? Yes. So Flex, for anybody in Kenya who doesn't know you and... Uh, and they're wondering who's Flex. Please tell them why they've been missing out on who you are. Uh, the name is Flex the Paper, aka Kampala Boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when you say Kampala Boy, does it mean like you're the, the turn up guy in Kampala? Is <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. The you're the plug. You're the plug. I represent Kampala. You know, in Kenya, when you say plug, <laughs> yeah. just know it means you're. That's a plug. <laughs> so, and don't say that here. Yeah, you'll be I arrested. Still, I could still get you anything. Yeah, <laughs> but also, if you ask nice. <laughs> yeah, but also, what I know you can get is that you can get hits. Mm-hmm. So tell oh, guys yeah. about your project that just came out and why they should go check it out also and yes. and the effect of your relationship and friendship with yes. with Navio has had right. on your career or yeah. your or you uh, as a person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the album is uh, the album that came out came out December tenth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kampala Boy album. Mm-hmm. Had features from Epas. Mm-hmm. Uh, we Black, love uh, here in yes. Kenya. Yeah. I had Epas. I had um, Navio. Yeah. Um, uh, Fig Famica. Mm-hmm. Um, Different artists for the vibe, different uh, genres. Had yeah. DM, had hip hop on that. Yeah. Yes, a poem. Things yeah. Different. Yeah. So came out first day, number one album, all genres. Not yeah. Just hip hop. Wow, I love it. Country. Mad. Yeah. It's also come on Spotify. On. Hello, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Kampala you. Boy is. Change the album now to Wild Boy. Yeah. Uh, it's not Kampala yes. Boy anymore. Yeah, your so album is not landlocked like you can't. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. Your album has traversed <laughs> seas and oceans. I know. It's, okay, actually. it sounds like shit, but it's actually. Yeah. No, that's not actually. It's <laughs> not came out wrong. I, I, like, <laughs> that. I like that. I like that. Still. <laughs> but it's number yes. one album. Yeah. But you need to go so check out uh, Flex. Yeah. But you know yeah. what they say? People who are quiet like this. Their trouble. So still waters oh. run deep, and I think you guys check out <laughs> yeah, Flex's so, uh, music. Yeah. Navios, uh, when so it's good to see. Uh, what's on Navios album that came out? Yeah. Just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Going number one in yeah. the country as well. Make some noise yeah. for Navio. And also like uh, the effect, like last time, the effect of Navio's uh, influence on me and things like that. Yes. I think uh, first of all, because we grew up watching Clear Catch, you know? mm-hmm. um, so for us to be able to work with them like Navio, the Myth. We get the producers, I yeah. music, I yeah. write and music through his guys. And yeah. like a big producer. Yeah. And have your songs and your yeah. and all the rest. And realize that they're actually nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so the consistency. Yeah. Because like you see Navio has consistency. That's the truth. Like from back in the day up to now. Yeah. Staying relevant. Yeah. And yet you're not just relevant for news or things exactly. like that. Exactly. No Kiki, not yeah. yeah. Music. Not music. Navio took uh, Zari from <laughs> Diamond. No. None of that. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Uh, that is neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> I would never hang out with Navio, by the way. And I'll tell you why I miss. Me, I don't want to go to jail. These are the things I pick people to jail. You. Wait, what? You'd be like playing with cops, selling the cops. Ah, I dated your wife. No, he's yeah, talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would be arrested. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, basically, his consistency, uh, generally. Then also being an inspiration to many rappers in Uganda. Yeah. Like we did a UG hip hop cipher back in the day where I said shout out to Navi, the UG hip hop king. Yeah. And people are like, oh, you're saying that, 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 you get. But in America, people have always been doing that in other countries. Exactly. They take away anything to give someone their flowers. Mm, so, I like that. I like then, that. Uh, so also like, and the cons- like minus the consistency, and also being able to open doors for different people. Yeah. From Keko, when you work for Keko, Don't yeah. MC, yeah. Genius, all these guys went out to be very successful. Yeah. Like another day. And also like, um, the mentorship also. With different kids, different. Mm. I mean, it's on different people's songs. Like, you yeah. expect him to be on exactly. New guys. But even an album like this, I mean, having people like I know Lillian Bavazi has done her thing. Yes. I know Nviri is also has done his things, yeah. made his name. True. But even having you on the album, it's it's not. It's also both ways. Yeah, like yeah. He's co-signing them also 100%. and saying that you know, 
Eli Wamala is on track number one. It means yeah, a lot. So I mean, a yeah, it's like Eli I'm Wamala also co-signing him, him and saying that I may not write a whole Instagram post about the guy, yeah. but it's like he's on my song. It means that yeah, I, I absolutely giving, honor them. Yeah, you're honoring. I love it. I love it. I love that. Yeah. Flex, uh, the paper. Yes. Why people? You love you love money so much. Uh, no, uh, flex uh, the paper. Okay, flex from being flexible. So yeah. Right, uh, producer, part time. Exactly. Flexible where we, we have to ask. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, oh, you got <laughs> Music wise. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'd really love to have a show. <laughs> where I interview people who school with you. <laughs> who? S- who school with you? Yeah. So you tell me how much trouble you put them in. Oh my goodness! I, yeah, yeah. It I was yeah, me. It was a problem. I really <laughs> want to come back to Uganda so I can start up stuff and then I come back to Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> I just start <laughs> problems and I come back. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I told you guys this guy's not okay. We're gonna get <laughs> into the music. It's okay. not okay. <laughs> I told you guys. You see me? I've come back to Kenya. Your guy. <laughs> so 